Hello Aquarius and welcome to your general reading for May 2024. If you stumbled upon my channel for the first time, welcome and thanks for being here. I usually start each reading by channeling messages and sharing the visions and um, insights for this reading. So here we go. This is what came through for Aquarius. Um, <laughs> it was actually kind of charming. I saw um, a younger brother uh, kind of throwing a tantrum and the the older sibling it may be not a brother but it's just symbolic the older symbol the older sibling was like will you stop it will you stop it and the younger child was being just super childish you know throwing balls or crumbled paper at the brother and like the older the older sibling had just kind of had it something is trying to get your attention <laughs> and maybe not in the best way now this could be you trying to get someone's attention if you need to reverse this you know no shame aquarius i heard there's a right way and a wrong way to go about it um i then heard love languages there may be a difference in the way you express yourself there may be something that is demonstrated that maybe just doesn't click in. I'm, I'm hearing someone is very literal. Okay. Wow. I, so I don't know where this is going, but let's take a look at um, what's going on in this dynamic for you, Aquarius. Let's take a peek at the oracle cards first I'm, I'm feeling like something wants to come through and yeah we'll just let it come out in the reading all right we have contract this can be a soul contract it can be something that you are learning fulfilling with another person hmm okay let's take a look is this about balance the scales really jumped out at me what needs to come through for Aquarius, please? Okay, one more time. I just saw 222. Two, two. Some of you may be seeing that. Maybe that's a confirmation for you. All right, we have... <laughs> Sorry. Storm warning. Is somebody about to get it? Oh, okay. Let's see what we have here kindred partnership the thinking woman financial constraints and action mm, interesting combination um right away for some reason i'm kind of feeling like there is um a concerted effort by one person within a dynamic and you know maybe not so much for someone else I feel like there is a, there needs to be a meeting of the minds I don't know why I'm getting that but I'm, I'm kind of getting that you are either formulating a response Aquarius or you're taking action um, you know in your own regard like it, it, it could be that you have to stay the course in some, in some way you're looking in a certain direction and it's almost like wait a minute you know don't forget me what about me and I and I'm I'm getting okay this is interesting I'm getting like there's there's like a horse race and there's two very different approaches i'm almost looking at this one who's on a fast track and this horse who's like kind of trotting along i don't know what's being highlighted here but it feels to me like you have to converge at some point and get on the same page in order for something to move forward and I think someone in this equation is trying to figure that out there's a level of frustration I'm gonna say 
um, I, I'm looking at what appears to be like, you know, cobwebs all over this card, all over this, this cabinet or vault or whatever it is. And um, it seems to me like nothing is going to resolve itself without some degree of like upset. Yeah, look at that. And I, I think that the person who's being taught the biggest, you know, lesson perhaps in this has to understand that they have to go about things in a different way to get a different result, right? <laughs> We've all heard the definition of insanity, doing things the same way and expecting a different result. Something, there's a right way and a wrong way here. And I don't know if this is um, just like this ongoing frustration, but I'm, I'm kind of, look at how in this image, she's sort of like, really? I'm reading my book. I'm having a nice day taking a stroll. And this butterfly is like, you know, <laughs> right in front of me. And I'm like, really? I don't know. I, I, this may not be as big of a deal as I'm painting it to be, but it kind of feels like you've reached the point of annoyance. Okay. Okay, Aquarius, let's take a look. I love Aquarians. When they don't want to fart with something, they don't. They just don't. Um, okay, let's take a look at what's going on. Aquarius, what do you need to know about this journey? Okay, aftermath. Tower moments, reparations, discomfort, and upheaval. And I'm kind of getting this is, you know, when things are kind of um, crumbling, they're, um, it's, it's symbolic for me at this point when I'm looking at this. It's like you don't want to bother with the, the antics, the drama, or the disruption around you. This could be someone else's aftermath, and you're like, just deal. Yeah, like interestingly, symbolically, again, I'm getting this dolphin is happy as heck just doing, you know, jumps in their little bottled ocean. And everything else is dried up. What an interesting set of images. Bottom of the deck, divine love. I don't know what's going on here, but let's get out the tarot. <laughs> Is this you? Not bothering? I, I'm feeling such an annoyed energy when I'm looking at this King of Swords. And if this is you, you're like, how, how did I get myself into this? How do I get myself out of it? How do I break through? Hmm, okay. Yeah, look at this. Things are just not coming together. And I'm, I'm feeling a sense of mounting frustration. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look at what is playing out. Okay, I just heard slow down. That might be for you, it might be for me. I heard fast talker, okay. Page of Wands, speaking of, you know, I don't know, is this, is this somebody who is, <laughs> oh, I can't say that. I can't say that. Like running their mouth, running their mouth. Five of cups. That is also my traveler energy. If that ends up showing up in this reading, then we'll go there. But I, I just, I'm kind of getting that you you like yeah you don't want to you don't want to deal with this you don't want to bother it's causing drama someone may just be a pot stirrer ace of wands let's keep going there's a much bigger story going on here seven of wands and it came out with the fool and spirit is saying that's significant okay you're dealing with the antics of someone and you're you're like done with it. I'm not I'm not going to deal with this. And this could even be a group of people or it could have an effect on a group of people. And I just feel like you know, you don't even want to look up at this point. 
and deal with this, I don't know, is this someone who's um, ineffectively trying to get their point across and you're like, I, can't, I just can't even deal with that. Like you don't want to bother. You want to isolate yourself from whatever this is. Wow. And I'm, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords. This is mounting frustration. Like he's red in the face and he wants to say, you know what? Just give me truth or give me logic. Okay, I'm hearing that literal uh, word again, like give it to me straight, quit messing around. I, I don't know what's happening here, but it's causing discord and the discord is creating a, a, either a misunderstanding or a misrepresentation maybe of someone's literal meaning. Does, is this a love language thing? Is it a maturity issue? Are there um, indications that, you know, something has maybe crumbled for a reason? Can it be fixed? Do we go at this a different way? Let's look at things differently. Help me understand you, and I want you to understand me. It's, it's something like that. But there needs to be a concerted effort and you know if you're in the same race then you've got to you know support one another understand one another move at the same pace okay let's um let's dissect this page of wands page of wands okay now you know there's the there's the immaturity i'm feeling that you're like, please grow up, please, you know, you, you are old enough to handle this, to manage this. Are you playing a game with me? Seven of Swords. Uh, one more, Page of Wands, Maturity. This, is, this card's been coming out a lot, and it is... It's indicative of someone, um, you know, holding back or doing something for their own benefit. Now, you know, it could be that, that the person represented here is trying to accomplish something but not doing a very good job of it. Um, and it, it could just be that you're just really needing to get on the same page. We have success, the six of wands. Seven of wands. I think it's met with some resistance on your part. Let's look at the five of cups. Some disappointment here. And it could be disappointment in someone's behavior or, you know, like, can we get on the same page? Yes, can we get on the same page, please? Compromise, morality. Okay, now more is coming out. Like, if you, I'm going to put words in someone's mouth. If we're going to work this out, if we're in this same race together, then we need to come into this situation or accomplish this together by being, you know, above board by saying and doing the right things. It could be that someone's being called out for uh, being underhanded or tricky. There's a right way, there's a wrong way. And clearly what's happening here is the wrong way to go about this. Trust might be an issue. Someone may be opening their mouth before they think someone acting in a way that has severe consequences, but they never thought about that. They never, they never thought about, wow, I probably need to, you know, have a more mature outlook on this. I need to approach this like an adult. And now there's 
There's grief, there's strife, there's drama, there's fighting. I'm also hearing I've upset a lot of people. Excuse me, I'm going to get a drink. <coughs> okay, so let's find out what the drama is about. And I feel like you want nothing to do with it. Five of wands, seven of wands. Ripeness and the world in reverse. I, I don't read this deck in reverse unless I'm shown. Something isn't done. Now, is this a readiness to confront? Is this the storm? Like the, the missing piece or the, the, the culmination of whatever's happened here um, is, is pending a conversation, a confrontation. What is that? The two of cups in reverse. It feels like there's an unsupportive energy to whatever is going on here. It has either caused a breakup, a split, or some sort of um, disharmony. So what is it that you are doing? Um, I, I'm going to look at the Ace of Wands next. I want to look at you saying, um, I, I want nothing to do with these antics. This doesn't work for me. This could also be, I'm, I'm not going to participate anymore. I'm out of here. I want something different. I want something new. Let's look at that. The Fool and the Seven of Wands that came out together. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with this. We don't see eye to eye. We're at each other like crazy lovers. I think there's a big choice. And it's, it's this choice is based on how, do you get each other? You know, if your love language is one thing and your person's another or, or someone has a, a different agenda than you do, I, I feel like, you know, there's this... Okay, this is interesting because I was hearing a bird chirping outside. You probably couldn't hear that, but it's almost like, um, you know, get off this this bar, you know, exit. Come, come out the window. Your flock is here. Come and join us. I don't know. Is this a stubbornness? But I, I'm getting that you're, you are not on the same page. I'm hearing, help me understand you. Wow. But I'm, I feel it energetically. There is such a massive frustration here. Massive. Let's get one more. The Fool and the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> the Fool and the Seven of Wands. The Six of Cups. Reflecting on the past. I'm hearing self-saboteur and... It's interesting because with this card, this, this young lady is looking at her idea of love. What does it look like? Is it realistic? Hmm. Is it realistic? Bottom of the deck, the Emperor, the Nine of Swords, Adventure, Trust, Two of Wands, Three of Cups, Mind, Outsider, The Fool. Five of Swords, Chariot, The Moon, and The Ten of Swords. There could be um, not only a lack of cohesion with you and another. I just saw one, nine, one, one. I've, I've been seeing 911 like crazy. I'm, I'm, based on the readings I've been doing for May, it feels like a wake up call in some way. Um, if you're dealing with someone who just can't logically, you know, or, or reasonably like meet you in the middle, I feel like you may just say, I, I throw in the towel. I, I want more for me and you are a stumbling block at this point. 
Let's look at the Ace of Wands. Kind of a tough message, but you know, maybe this is like a wake up call for somebody. Ace of Wands, Five of Cups. There is something that you need to say, and I feel like this is to help bring someone along, or it helps you kind of alleviate. Maybe I'm not communicating properly. Maybe I need to say something. Um, if this is history repeating itself, Five of Cups clinging to the past, I need to make this person aware you're doing things the same way and it's insane. We can't keep doing this. One more. Ace of Wands. Wow, there's three cards now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. This has been quite a lesson. Maybe you have to be the, you know, the bigger person, the teacher. Death, change, transformation, endings, the devil. You're not playing anymore. Um, you're not. And I, I feel like, you know, your true self, your true intentions are coming through. If you are dealing with someone who's not self-aware, they could, they could literally be just a saboteur. What is, what is this lesson about? What is this lesson about? Is this relating? Let's see. I'm, I'm dying to see. No. Healing codependency. Um, but, you know, interestingly, we can't base our well-being and our emotions on another person. And, you know, I feel like maybe you have finally kind of unraveled this or you're in the process of it. Separation, establishing bound, <laughs> receiving support. Sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. Boundaries, self-discovery, top of the deck, self-undoing. Ooh, wow, changing your narrative. It, it just feels like, I'm, I'm like hearing you say, we all had to, face some difficulties in our lives and you have your set of challenges um, I almost feel like you've even tried to coach or counsel this person and they they didn't want to hear it they could they didn't get it and you know if this person is the proverbial like fool I I think that you're kind of done dealing with it you know when you've fallen off the cliff 10 times and nine times I picked you back up and dusted you off, I'm not doing that anymore. This is yours. Oh, I'm <laughs> let's get some advice. Oh, Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. Ooh. So you're learning something, teaching, learning. In this scenario, you are the student. Be careful of self-sabotage. Partnership requires compromise, an open mind, <clears throat> excuse me, and a loving heart. If these came out to reflect something that you're recognizing within yourself, there's no blame, no shame, but it isn't working. If this is something you're recognizing in someone you're dealing with, that they are a self-saboteur, that they are the perpetual, immature, I, I, I'll never get it, I'll never learn, then, ooh, you know, how much are you willing to participate in that? And if they're not, if they are not contributing to their own well-being, right, with this Six of Wands energy, like, you know, you're saying, you've got to deal with that. That's not up to me. 
Let's get one more. Choose to be with someone who loves you, supports you, and never makes you feel small. Wow. Okay, um, pretty tough message. I, I don't even know if I'm going to extend this one because I, I feel like if, if you're saying, listen, this is unhealthy, I, I, like I'm done, I'm out of here. I think the only thing stopping or the only thing pending is um, a breakup. If it isn't quite done, it's a conversation about, I, I have to go. Okay, um, I'm going to sit with this. I'm just going to ask Spirit if there's a continued message. If this really hit home, um, maybe there's something in it for you. Just, you know, sit with it, consider it. If I don't extend it, I do offer personal readings. If anyone is like, what comes next with this? Because I, I feel like it's a strong connection, but you know, the 10th time you're having to like teach this person something, I think, I think you're just, you've had it. And that's tough, but that's what soul contracts are about. Okay, Aquarius, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Take care.